name is Raylene Young. I'm from Torrance, California, which is in LA County. Um, I work at Facebook as an engineering manager, and I work on privacy and content production. Right now I support a few different teams, um, some of which work on privacy and trust. So what, <clears throat> what they really care about is helping and like make sure that users understand how privacy works on Facebook um, and that everything is working the way it should. Um, I also support another team that cares about sharing and how to help people share. Um, what we call the composer or the status update box is the way that most people share on Facebook. So we want to make sure it really works properly all the time, it's easy to use, and that it's like really fun for people to share. And I was a, an engineer on Newsfeed for about two years when I first joined. Um, and then I worked on Timeline as an engineer as well, and then after that transitioned to be a manager and started working on privacy. So I think one of the biggest shifts is definitely thinking about people versus just technology. I actually think engineering is a very social job anyway. You work with people all the time and it's really important to like cooperate and stuff like that. But in the end, like as a manager, a lot of your responsibilities and a lot of the goals that you have are around helping people become um, more effective or helping people learn and like what the team accomplishes as a whole versus like just yourself. Three or four years ago, um, there weren't, Facebook was a lot smaller, but there also weren't that many female engineers. Um, you definitely knew everyone uh, in engineering, the other, you knew all the other women. Um, so I thought it would be a good idea to, at first it was really just to like get lunch together and get to know each other better. Um, one, people were all across the company, so you got to learn a little bit about all the different parts. And two, you could build a, a community. Um, over time, the community has grown a lot, which is great to see. And you know, now there's a very large, vibrant community. It just makes you feel like um, you can kind of unite around a very common um, experience and then also purpose. And I think everyone who participates in the community really wants to help bring more women into engineering, but also really believes it's very important for the future. I mean, I think there's a lot of reasons. I think one is it's actually a really fun discipline. I think unlike, um, so the way I've, you know, some of my friends have described it is like, it's, things are, problems are always slightly different. So it's kind of, you're always doing something new. Um, usually there's a, a right answer to something too. Like it, the, your program works the way you want it to or it doesn't. And that can be very satisfying. It's sort of like playing a lot of games or like solving challenges one after another. So I think inherently it's really interesting um, and fulfilling. The other piece of course is that like, just looking at the last five to 10 years, how much um, of an impact computer science and programming has had on the world. So now like everything is sort of online or runs via code. I really think in the future, you know, everybody should know how to program or in all aspects of life, it'll probably help you. And to imagine that like half of people in the world like are disadvantaged in that way is like a pretty scary future to me. People are, I do think genders or people from different backgrounds bring very different perspectives. So even just the idea that like, for example, if we're building Facebook, I think we can build a much better product if we actually have a more diverse um, workforce and more engineers from different backgrounds building Facebook. So extrapolating to all the future products and self-driving cars and like everything we're building, um, I think they'll be better if more women help build them.